I just found an amazing AI tool that can produce stunning results and has amazing capabilities. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Render is an all-in-one architectural rendering platform that can produce quick results and high quality visualizations. This is a subscription based tool and can produce hyper realistic renders in seconds. So in this video, we'll look at this platform in detail. I'm Salman, an architect and illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. So let's get started. You can check the link in the description to access this platform. This will take you to the home page of Render. And to begin using this platform, we'll have to register into this website. We can simply use our Google account or create a username and password to create an account and login. Once you've successfully created your account, this will take you to the main editing page of Render. We have a toolbar with four options on the top and all the tools in this platform are located within these tabs. On the first tab, we'll see videos with different use cases of this platform. Let's jump into the second tab, which has most of the AI features. Under this tab, we have five different AI tools to use. Let's begin with the first AI tool, which is text to render. If you have watched some of the previous videos on how to use AI platforms, you will pretty much know how to use this AI tool. We'll simply have to describe what we want to create with AI and adjust the settings listed below. For this example, let's type in a prompt to describe the elevation of a shopping complex. I'm using the keywords such as modern multi-story complex, in a glass facade, parametric design, red glass panels and so on. In case you want to describe this further, we have a keywords tab under which you can choose the keywords to add into the prompt. This has different categories like the view direction, function type, design style and so on. Let's pick a few to add into the prompt. We can adjust the creativity using this slider right here. And just in case we have another reference image, we can add that into this tab right here. And right below, we can choose the aspect ratio of the image. And on the last tab, we can choose the number of images we want to generate using this prompt. Let's pick four and hit generate. The image takes about a minute or two to generate and here are the results. Speaking of the quality of the image, I think this is an amazing output. The image almost looks realistic and you don't really see any unrefined edges that reduces the quality of the image. These images look as close to a photograph. We can download these, create more variations, upscale them or edit further from these icons on the top. We'll look at the edit options on the later part of this video. Let's move on to the next AI tool which is Elevation to Render. As the name suggests, and as we see in this thumbnail right here, this AI tool renders an elevation drawing. To begin with, we'll have to upload an elevation drawing. Here's an example that I'll be using. Before uploading the elevation drawing, make sure that it's not too detailed and the lines in the drawing are pretty clean for the AI to understand. We can drag and drop the image here and choose the strength of the image using this slider. And as the warning says, it's always better to upload a high quality image to get better results. Let's define the elevation in this box. While describing a prompt, Make sure to include materials, environment, textures, and all the other smaller elements that you want to include in the image. As we did previously, we can take some references from these keywords tab. If you want AI to retain all the details in the image, it's better to set the creativity to around 50 or lesser. Let's choose four images for this and hit generate. Here's the image output. And I must say, this is a pretty good output for the low resolution image that we provided. The textures are slightly overpowering, but it has done a great job in retaining the outlines of the structure and also with the windows and lighting. Of course, we can always go back and tweak a few prompts to enhance this further and get a more desired output. Here's an example after we've refined it. The next tool is Sketch to Render. And for this, we'll be uploading a hand sketch to see how it turns out with AI. Let's begin with an interior sketch and upload the image into the platform. This is a very abstract sketch of a living room and a dining room on the right side. There's a bar counter right in the middle and we have a fall ceiling design above. So let's try describing that using prompts. Let's keep the creativity as 75 since this is an abstract sketch. Choose the number of generations and hit generate. Here's the output that we have. This is an excellent result considering how we provided such an abstract sketch for the input image. This can definitely be improved by adding more details to the sketch. But comparing what we provided as the input, the quality of the textures and the environment is pretty stunning. Here's an example of an exterior sketch that we created using the same technique by applying an outline sketch as the input. We can definitely see the difference from the previous render to this and this makes it clear that the render output is solely based on the input image that we're providing. The next tool is 3D base to render. And for this, I have a SketchUp model, which we can use as a reference for the render. The model is of a resort. Let's begin by exporting this as a JPEG image. 
Let's upload the image into the platform and describe the scene using a few keywords. Let's reduce the creativity in this case and hit generate. We have the results and like previously, the render outputs have a great level of depth. There are certain issues with the landscape, especially on the right side, but these can be refined once again using the edit tool. But the quality of the render and environment, especially the buildings, are quite stunning. What do you think about these results? The next tool on the platform is called Image to Render. And using this tool, we'll be able to modify an image and change the characteristics like the environment, lighting, mood and so on. Let's use this image as an example to try it out. The strength of the color and shapes can be 90% since we don't want AI to make too many changes in these. Now instead of describing the building, let's describe what we want to change in the image. For example, let's try making this into a rainy scene. The creativity can be in 50 as well. Let's hit generate and see what it turns out. The results are here and let's compare both the scenes. In visualization, this tool will save a lot of time to switch between the mood of the scene and the environment. This tool can be used to alter any part of the scene and that opens a great range of possibilities. Now let's move on to all the editing tools in Render. And under this, we have four different modules to use. Let's start with the first one, which is Select and Modify. As we did previously, we'll have to upload an image into this module. I'm uploading a render of this villa elevation. Once you upload, this will open an edit window and under this, we can make selections of different elements in the image. There are tools like the magic wand, brush tool and lasso to make these selections. Let's use the magic wand to select the roads in the image. Once selected, click done, turn on maintain shapes and we now have to describe what we want to change in the render. In this case, let's type stone walkway. Click generate to create the results. Here's the updated pathway and we can use the same technique and modify the objects once again to change different elements in the image. The next tool is the remove object and as the name suggests, we'll be able to remove elements in an image seamlessly. Once you upload the image, the editor opens and this will automatically detect all the elements in the image. Here's a before and after using this tool. The next one is insert and modify and this tool can come in really handy when you want to make quick changes in your image. For example, let's choose an image and just in case you want to add an object or a human figure in this image, you can simply do that by uploading a silhouette of a human figure. Let's scale this down to fit it into proportion. Click done and hit generate and this will seamlessly create a human figure in your image. The last one on the edit tool is a game changer and it's called sketch in context. Use Google Earth to locate an empty site and take a screenshot from the street view. Upload the image in this module and this will open the edit tool. You can use the brush, lasso or the pen tool to directly draw on the image. Let's try creating a rough outline of the elevation we are trying to create. Click done and we'll have to describe the sketch using the prompt. Click generate when you're done. Here are the results and this can be an excellent tool for creating conceptual design on your site directly. You can always use the edit tool to remove objects and modify the image. Let's now use the same image on the last tool which is called 4K Upscale. Head over to 4K Upscale and we can choose the image that we created. Set the parameters and let's choose Fix People. Hit Generate to upscale this image in a 4K resolution. Finally, I asked my followers on Instagram to send me the screenshots of their models to see how it turns out in Render. So let's look at the results. Ifra had sent me a screenshot from a SketchUp model of a bathroom interior. I've used the 3D to render option to create the render. I then had to edit the mirror on the right side using the select and modify tool. And here's the result. Another screenshot from a SketchUp model was shared by Fisa. And I suppose this is an elevation of a shop. I've used the elevation to render option to create this classical style shop. Architect Upsell had sent me a screenshot of a SketchUp model which is an elevation in grey and stone textures. I've used the 3D base to render option and here's the result. M Skybar had sent me a screenshot of an office interior. I first had to edit this in Photoshop to fill the edges and then use the 3D base to render option and set the maximum creativity to create these outputs. Kubab had sent me a concept sketch which looked like a villa design. So I've used sketch to render option, added some materials to create this output. Finally, Nadia had sent me this challenging cat drawing. I first had to edit the drawing in Photoshop to make it black and white, then use the elevation to render option to create these outputs. What do you think about these results? 
As I mentioned, this is a subscription based platform and the pricing starts from $19 a month and ranges up to $50. You can also use the coupon code SALMAN10 to avail 10% off on your subscription. So that was it from Rendair. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.